Hello, hello, hello. Today is Saturday, July 23, 2022. Solutions to problem 149. It deals with angular resolution. And I cover that in great detail in my lecture 21 of 803. I even do a very interesting demonstration there. I have two pinholes next to each other and lights behind them. Then I ask the students in the back of the lecture hall whether they can see two. The answer is no. They said we only see one. Then I asked the students in the front rows, do you see two? And they all say yes. <laughs> well, that's the idea of angular resolution. It depends on the diameter of your eye, which is about three to four millimeters. And that means human eyes in general have a angular resolution of one arc minutes. Now the first question. The first question is, if one of these radio telescopes looks at the sky, what would be the angular resolution? Look at my lecture 21, and the answer is 1.22 times lambda over d. Lambda is 21 centimeters, which is 0.21 meters. D was 100 feet, which is about 30 meters, so that it's so many radians. Some people think that it is degrees, which is wrong. It is so many radians, and that translates into 0.49 degrees, which is roughly also the diameter of the sun. Keep in mind that in one radian, there are 57.3 degrees. So, if two strong radio sources are about half a degree apart or more, they will be detected at two sources by one radio telescope. Question two. If now, oh no, question two is, what is so important about lambda equals 21 centimeters, which is a frequency of 1420 Hertz. It comes from neutral atomic hydrogen. It was a prediction made in 1944 by the Dutch astronomer Professor Henk van der Holst. This was a breakthrough in radio astronomy. If you look at this website, you will get all the background <laughs> of this remarkable 21 centimeter line. Uh, I have had Mank many times. He, with Professor Jan Oort, should have gotten the Nobel Prize in Physics for that. Jan Oort ranks among the greatest astronomer of all time. He had dinner at my apartment in Amsterdam, at the Plantage Doklaan, where I spent my sabbatical year from MIT in 1981. So I was the whole year 1981 in the Netherlands. And what you see here is Jan Oort, and you see me, and I was 45 years old. At that same dinner, my mother was there, Jan Oort, and my mother. Now, if you now use the two radio telescopes as a two-slit interferometer, then the angular resolution is substantially larger. It is lambda over d. But D is now one kilometer, which is 1,000 meters. 
And so now the angular resolution is only about 180th of a degree. That's the power of interferometers. One telescope would only be half a degree, but if you combine them as interferometers, then what matters is the distance between the two. 180s of a degree. Interferometers were breakthroughs in all of astronomy. Oh, all right then. Um, I would say about 40% of you had this right. Well, it's my guess. Okay, if you did it right or wrong, it makes no difference, we'll be friends. Anyhow, that is always a given.